I'm Susan Paxton. I'm a consultant, trainer and facilitator in the Asia-Pacific region and I'm HIV positive. I was diagnosed with HIV nearly 19 years ago and it was perhaps the most shattering news I could ever have faced because in those days I was told that I had a life-threatening condition, I was going to be dead in five to eight years time. And I had a son who was only two years old and I thought that I might not see him ever finish primary school. Today he's about to finish university so it's rather a joyous um, year for me. Shortly after I was diagnosed I did contact um, a peer support group and that was incredibly helpful for me and shortly afterwards I got some counselling to deal with the, the news of the diagnosis because my, my self-esteem was completely shattered. I think it's really vital that people living with HIV do speak out, particularly to young people but across society and, and within the health sector for a couple of reasons. I think that we need to show the face of HIV. Um, I know for me I always knew about safe sex and had practiced safe sex until I was in a, a what, what I considered to be a long-term committed relationship and therefore I look at how people trust their partners and that's the message I try and get across to young people. I think in society people are so afraid to talk to young people about sex because then they might go off and have sex um, and there's good evidence around that training young people about sexual behaviour before they become sexually active is perhaps the most valuable thing you can, you can train young people in, in terms of their life uh, skills and their future. The issue of trust is very difficult, particularly for women, because women often don't have the confidence to negotiate uh, safe sex. And I think it's very challenging in long-term relationships. In 1999, my health was very going down very quickly, very rapidly, and I had almost no immune system left. And I was very resistant to, to taking antiretroviral drugs, but I started taking them 10 years ago at the end of 1999. And they were like miracle drugs. I, I now embrace my toxic drugs because I was very lucky. I didn't have any side effects. And I've led a much fuller life over the last 10 years than I did for the 10 years before that, when I was HIV positive, but I wasn't on any medication. So the drugs have en enabled me to embrace life again and that HIV is not a death sentence, that I can lead a long and healthy life with HIV, providing I take my medication every day. My HIV status did define me before I started taking antiretroviral medication and before I went public in the media because the two things happened about the same time. Curiously, since I've gone public and since I started taking antiretroviral drugs, it's as if my HIV status is no longer important. Even though I work in HIV all the time, it doesn't define me any longer. So it's almost now as if HIV has been another stage in my what appears to be a long life and hopefully will be even longer.